This is Module 2 of the Train Analysis Tutorial. In this module, we will be discussing train attribute calculation. We'll start this session with the base layer for this type of train analysis, a digital elevation model, or DEM. As mentioned in the previous module, we have selected a grid cell size of 3 meters by 3 meters to maintain a certain level of accuracy with LiDAR data, yet reduce excessive processing times. The first step in this analysis is to calculate flow direction with the Spatial Analyst extension. Select the Flow Direction command under the Spatial Analyst Tools Hydrology Toolbox. Our DEM is the base layer and we simply specify a file path name and use the default settings. Flow Direction creates a raster with values that represent the direction of flow out of each cell. The next step is to calculate flow accumulation. Select the Flow Accumulation command in Spatial Analyst Tools Hydrology Toolbox. Use the recently created Flow Direction raster as the input file. The output is your Flow Accumulation grid file and default settings are again used. The result is a grid with cell values representing how much area is upslope from each particular grid cell as seen in this graphic. The next important attribute to calculate is slope, or simply rise over run. Select the slope command in the Spatial Analyst Tools Surface Toolbox. Here, percent slope is specified. This grid is then divided by 100 in the raster calculator to create a slope layer with appropriate units for subsequent attribute calculations. Once these primary attributes are calculated, secondary attributes can be derived. The Stream Power Index, or SPI, is simply the product of flow accumulation and slope, although there are a few important considerations to make. Due to the varying quality of different DEMs, some no data cells may have been created in the data layer. These no data cells must be reclassed to zero to avoid multiplying by a zero value. This can be done in the Spatial Analyst Reclassify command. You must also be careful that zero values are not used in the calculation of SPI because it would again result in multiplying by a zero value. A simple solution to this is adding 0 0.001 to every cell. The following calculation can be made in the Spatial Analyst Raster Calculator. An SPI layer is created by entering the following formula. Note how 0.001 was added to remove zero pixel values from the two layers. To normalize the data values for easier analysis and viewing, the natural log can also be taken in the raster calculator. High values in the resultant SPI data layer represents areas on the landscape that have both a high flow accumulation and a high slope. The Compound Topographic Index, or CTI, can be calculated in a similar fashion. It is calculated by entering the following formula in the raster calculator. This data layer, often referred to as the wetness index, identifies areas of both high catchment and low slope where water may accumulate on the surface. This concludes Module 2 of the Train Analysis Tutorial.